Good afternoon and welcome Fairchild Air Force Base to the opening ceremony of the 13th Conseil International du Sport Militaire or CESAM World Military Women's Football Championship. At this time, if you could all silence your cell phones and other electronic devices, please. Everyone, please join me in welcoming our 10 delegations as they march in the Parade of Athletes. Please welcome Germany, coached by Kirsten Seigmann. Belgium is not able to attend, but we welcome them just the same. Now please welcome Cameroon, coached by Mademoiselle Josephine Mimoset Ndomu Mike.
Team USA, coached by Derek Wayans. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to stand for the parade of colors and the playing of anthems. Also, it is my pleasure to announce that today's color guard detail is from Fairchild's very own honor guard. Please remain standing and remove your hats or head garments for the playing of the National Anthem of the United States. And now we will play tribute to the SISM flag.
now everyone please welcome our guest speaker representing the United States Department of Defense Armed Forces Sports Council, the United States Chief of Delegation to CISM, and the official CISM representative for the 2022 CISM World Military Women's Football Championship, Mr. Stephen Deneau. Dear Chief Submission, teams, athletes, our VIPs, the whole community, volunteer staff, welcome to Fairchild Air Force Base. We are so excited to have you here. Um, can't tell you how much pleasure it is to see everybody back here again. Um, it's been a few years since we've all been together um, due to the pandemic and the number of years, but now we're back together to be able to share our friendship through sport. So thank you for coming, making the long journey, and welcome all our teams. I know we're minus Belgium at the moment, but we know they're going to be in route very shortly. So once they get here, we will have a full 10 teams and a full complement of this championship. So, just real quick, uh, by a show of hands of our teams, who was here, well, not here in uh, Fairchild, but who was at the 2018 Military uh, Football Championship at Fort Bliss, Texas? Out of our athletes. I see several hands. So, um, for those that were there, if you recall, we were announcing that the United States would host three women's military world championships in a row starting in 2016. Well, I'm happy here tonight to be able to say this is our fourth consecutive women's military championship that we're able to host in the United States Armed Forces and the fourth women's championship that the United States has been able to host uh, through the inception of CISM Military uh, Women's Football Championship. So. Um, and this year is very important as well um, for women's sports in the United States. Um, it is the 50th anniversary of Title X. Um, that was a law that was enacted in the United States that really opened the doors of equal opportunities for women and girls across the country to be able to participate in sport um, at all levels within our education system. And that has created just a tremendous uh, energy that we see now within our Olympic Paralympic programming all the way down to our youth sports programs. So it's very exciting for us to be able to see that um, and have you on board with us is just, an, you know, again, we're thankful that you're able to participate here. So, um, so these events really don't happen um, without the support of our military bases that stand up and volunteer. So with that said, on behalf of the Department of Defense, I would very much like to thank the Fairchild Air Force Base. Uh, thank you specifically to Colonel Fletcher for being here and the Mission Support Group, also the Force Services Squadron, uh, Air Force Services, Air Force Sports. Um, Where's uh, Lieutenant Colonel Kirschman? I know he's here somewhere. There he is. He's our project officer. And uh, without you and the team you assembled, we don't have this. And I really appreciate everything that you've done and the entire team. So, um, and without that hard work of everybody coming together as a team, you know, we're able to give you the best possible championship that we can offer. So. Um, I also would like to recognize a special guest that was able to make it out to, and that's uh, Mr. Bill Taylor with U.S. Soccer. He is the vice president for our national federation, and they were able to take the time to come out and join us here at this uh, prestigious event. Um, but l lastly, please also let me welcome and thank the Air Force Public Affairs Agency, uh, both the second and third audiovisual squadron. They are responsible for the live broadcast of not just the ceremony, but every match that will occur throughout this championship. And thank you for our defense media activity folks that are going to be taking photos of every match, as well as writing stories throughout the week and the tournament. So thank you for all. And then 
then again, once again, thank you to all our volunteers and staff. So um, that's really the thing I like to do the most when I come up here is to thank everybody because I can't, we can't do this on our own. And thank you for our athletes, our coaches, our chiefs of mission for making this happen. Thank you for our chiefs of delegation out there that aren't physically here. Without your support, we don't get these uh, teams to come across the country, the, the ocean to participate. And in terms of Canada, you're able to come down through the Rockies and we appreciate you taking that long bus ride. So thank you so much. Um, so normally I don't like to talk too long. I like to keep my remarks short, but as the official SISM rep, um, they said I had to talk just a couple more minutes longer. And I'm going to take that opportunity to recognize someone very special to us within the SISM family. And he is really the, the godfather of women's football in the SISM. And that's Mr. Hen Blickman of the SISM football committee. So um, years ago in the late 90s, there he is. Thank you, Mr. Hen. So back in February, we had the opportunity to share a story that in the late 90s, uh, one of his players said, why do we not have women's football in the Dutch military? Mr. Hen said, hmm, let me think about that. Let me, let's make it happen. And over the course of the next several years, he started working with other nations like Canada, the United Kingdom, and ultimately they were able to have some friendly matches scheduled and they were able to show that there was enough interest around the world with the military um, teams. So he then convinced uh, other nations to join, and at that same time, the United States Armed Forces program started developing a women's soccer championship in 1999. So that momentum, a lot of it having been created by Mr. Blickman, we were able to show other nations that you can form your teams, you can come to SISM. And next thing you know, in 2002, we had the first SISM Women's Football Championship with only four teams. Um, now, the United States did win, so I have to give uh, credit to our team then. But over the years, um, we have now are at the 13th edition of that championship. Um, we've been at uh, the 2007, 2011, 15, and 19 military world games. And again, this is the fourth SISM championship that the United States has been able to host. And then next year, Netherlands will host the 14th edition of women's football in the Netherlands. So we, we really appreciate um, everything that Mr. Blickman's done. He's been a staple of this program. And um, unfortunately, he's going to be retiring shortly. So that's why I am recognizing you right now to give you the credit where credit is due. So um, if you don't mind, just join a round of applause for Mr. Blickman and the efforts over the years. And of course, that doesn't happen uh, without the support of his uh, lovely wife, Beth, who's uh, also joining us too. So for him to do all this, obviously, um, he needs the support of his wife, and uh, she's been by his side the entire time, and we're lucky to have her here as well. So thank you. So I will keep it, I will end now because I know you're ready to get to uh, the meal. So without further ado, I will turn this back over and I will invite Colonel Fletcher to come up and say some remarks and open this event. Thank you, everyone. Mr. Denode for those kind words. Now, coaches, athletes, ladies and gentlemen in the audience, you may now be seated. Thank you. Please welcome your host and commander of Fairchild Air Force Base's mission support group, Colonel Charles Fletcher. Thank you very much. Mr. Denot, you said a lot of thank yous, but um, I didn't hear you thank yourself. So I just want to personally thank you. Can everybody give him a round of applause, please? <laughs> to the SISM committee, athletes, civic leaders, on behalf of Colonel Bentley, Commander, 92nd Air Refueling Wing, 
Welcome to Fairchild Air Force Base. Spokane, a.k.a. Hooptown, USA, is no stranger to large sporting events, so it's very appropriate that an event of this magnitude be hosted here. And it is truly an honor to host each of these teams, and we look forward to seeing some fierce competition. The SISM motto is friendship through sport. So although this is a competition, I have no doubt many friendships will be established. Before we officially kick this off, I want to thank Team Fairchild for their countless hours and devotion to ensuring this event's success. Also, special thanks to Lieutenant Colonel Jeremiah Kirschman, somebody I know personally, you know, I get to work with him every day, the tournament's director for his leadership. Way to go, Kirsch. Without further ado, I declare the 13th SISM World Women's Military Football Championship officially open. Again, everyone, please give them a round of applause. Now, 
ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome the Air Force Band of the West, who have also put together a performance for us.
beautiful ceremony. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our opening ceremony. We'd like to wish all of our athletes the best of luck over the next 12 days of competition and also friendship through sport. Thank you to our wonderful sponsors for all of your hard work and dedication into making this event happen. Everyone, if you could please visit their booths 